Good morning. Welcome to the blog. My name is Tony Torrance. We're going to tie a little steelhead tube this morning. Uh, we're on the ProTube system with the ProTube needle. And here we go. We've got a silicone junction tube made by ProTube. Slide that on. ProTube micro tube. Push those together. Get it locked in place so you're ready to tie. Get your threads. Actually, we're going to put a drop weight on here first. I got a little ahead of myself. Drop weight. Just adds a little weight to the fly to get it down. Get your thread started. We're going to add a little fluorofiber here. Just a few strands. You don't need you don't need much. Now it's going to stand up and look all goofy to start, but it will lay down once you get your next material on. Next we're going to add a purple saddle hackle. Purple saddle. I'm going to wrap that collar style, which means I'm going to pull back and stroke this material so it stands back like a V on the stem. About two or three wraps is all you need. Okay. Next, we're going to add um, a little finish raccoon for an underwing. And this is purple. Sparse. The big thing with these flies is not to overdress them. Um, you get too much on there and there's, there's just no translucency to the fly. And it doesn't wiggle as well as it should. So you can see I'm just using a small amount there. Much easier to tie down too with oh, yeah. a little bit. Just... Yeah. Got that underwing. Okay. Next, I'm going to add a little angel hair for flash. Again, this is pretty sparse as well. Next is a black hackle. This one I like to make just a little bit longer than the purple. And if you look, I'm using, I'm stripping that down and using some of the webby uh, fibers in that saddle hackle. This hackle I will put on a little, a little heavier. Okay, now I'm going to add my black finish raccoon as a topping. And this I'm going to make even longer than the underwing. Again, sparse is the key. I'm going to take and pull some of those under fibers out, the little shorter fibers. I tend to pre-cut my wing and then try to lay it in, tug it back. Okay. Now you can see I've got those in there. I will take a little zap a gap, apply it to the thread. Pull back my material, wrap that over the top, cut the thread, slide the cone on the front. Now I've gotten a little carried away with my head size hurrying up on this fly. I'll slide this off of the needle now. Usually use a razor blade to cut that. I've got that cut. I will take the blue part of the flame, just hit that a couple times, and we're done.
Okay. There you go, the finished ProTube.